So the wonderful thing about our exercise program here at Memorial Regional for our adult cystic fibrosis patients is that each patient is, is, is seen as an individual patient. And our exercise physiologist reviews the, the patient and we decide in terms of what that patient should do. I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when I was 18 months old. I had a pretty normal childhood, not a lot of lung involvement as a child. Um, teenage years, pretty normal. Um, I went home on all the regimen, the chest physiotherapy on a daily basis. My parents were taught how to do the therapy, so I started from day one with care, with the optimal care for CF. Um, uh, after college, about 21 or 22 years old is when I started having more lung involvement, where I had to go in for my first tune-up. So exercise is recommended for cystic fibrosis patients. Um, it's, it's part of airway clearance. For cystic fibrosis, we have multi modalities in terms of helping the patients. And part of airway, when, when we say airway clearance, it means trying to get that thick concrete-like sputum that's stuck in the lung to come up and to prevent infection. So part of airway clearance is exercise. Um, we know that patients who, despite having very poor lung function, if they're healthy and if they're exercising, their body almost adapts to lungs that don't function that well. And you know, we have patients who've got you know, poor lung function but run marathons. And uh, it's amazing that, that, you know, that, that patients can adapt to, to having uh, an organ such as their lungs not function properly and nevertheless you know, go and run a marathon. And, and we know that patients do better and they live longer um, if they exercise. I was on oxygen 25 years ago for the very first time um, at bedtime and thought, wow, you know, I need to get a handle on this and get, do more. So I started really exercising and making it a part of my daily routine. So it's a, it's, a, it's a commitment. It's a dedication and a commitment. We have a multifaceted approach towards treating these patients, um, including um, a, a team which is a very holistic team with physicians, nurses, dietitians, nutritionalists, and part of the treatment is exercise. And you know, we've put together a wonderful exercise program when our patients do come into our hospital here at Memorial Regional on our adult side, we have a wonderful exercise program that our patients uh, participate in while they're here in the hospital. I, I come in and I, and I show them the dumbbells, they might be like, oh man, I, I've never used these before, but and they get used to it and after I teach them the proper form, the purse slip breathing, breathing is, ve is very important and they'll, they'll start to get the hang of it and learn the technique and before they leave after two weeks, they might be on six or eight pound dumbbells and oh, this is easy, man, what, I was doing those before and they, they don't even realize it, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun seeing that progression. I feel it is just as important to exercise as it is that you're getting your breathing treatments and chest physiotherapy. You have to implement it in your daily routine. Whatever it may be, it might be Zumba, it might be Jazzercise, it might be um, Kickball, whatever it may be, implement that and do it. I feel that you can live a longer and a better quality of life if you implement exercise in your life. I mean, I have. I feel like I have.